What's up guys, kaise ho aap log? Welcome to another video on the 23 Rides channel. And today we are going to ride a very special motorcycle, something that everyone was waiting for, which is the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. What I wanted to do was share with you some real-time practical feedback after riding this motorcycle. And for doing a real ride, I am planning to head out to Vrindavan, which is like almost 160-170 kilometers from my place. A round trip will be around 350-400 kilometers, even if we try and roam around. So 400 kilometers on the motorcycle will give me a great idea of what this machine is capable of. So let's get the ride started and I would love to share what I feel about this machine with you. So the objective of doing this ride is plain and simple. I know you would have seen multiple reviews of the Meteor 650 on YouTube, right? Uh, multiple media reviews. And you already are aware of what sort of specs we have on offer in this machine that is going to be on the roads pretty soon. So my intention is to ride this machine on the highways and give you some real time feedback of how it feels while touring. This is the top of the line Super Meteor 650 Celestial model. Okay, and this one comes with a lot of modifications like the touring seat and the windscreen as standard. To ride this machine, I have actually removed the beak on my adventure touring helmet so that the beak doesn't get caught in the immense wind blast that is coming just from the point where the windscreen ends. So this has been converted into a street helmet. If you can see this, I don't know. So we are on the Yamuna Expressway and this is the place where we are going to test out the Meteor, the Super Meteor 650. First of all, I'll tell you that the build quality of the Super Meteor 650 is pretty good. Uh, the way we have seen the Aries evolve over time has changed a lot. We saw the bullet with a very basic fit and finish. With the twins, the things went up in terms of engine refinement. And after this, with the Super Meteor 650, things have actually improved a lot the overall fit and finish the way the wires are hidden the paint job on the machine the level of chrome that is introduced the small things that re has taken into consideration by adding the windscreen as default those foot pegs with the wider footrests i mean all these small changes show that the brand is finally evolving i always used to believe that royal enfield was always about you know just marketing hype they are pretty good at it right they have this kind of a following of blind followers if i may say who just trust the brand but i think with the super meteor 650 things have really changed this is definitely a level above the interceptor 650 and the gt650 when we talk about the riding posture the riding geometry is what you would see in a typical cruiser relaxed riding position laid back riding posture the feet are in front of you and you can just munch miles right now as you can see i am riding at 80 kmph on the sixth gear this is called cruising in all sense right and this is what this machine does effortlessly the celestial model the top of the line model that i'm riding right now comes with two essential things which are added for almost a 15 to 20 thousand rupee premium one is the touring seat that we have which is really comfortable and second is this windscreen which again is essential if you are going to do a lot of riding on the highways the windscreen is providing okayish wind protection but at the same time there is a slight buffeting that you feel so overall i think 
these two things are very good the touring seat and the windscreen by default i think along with that these foot pegs are really good in terms of the feel that they offer to the rider's foot i think they are solving the purpose talking about the performance as you can see right now we are cruising at 100 kmph on the sixth gear 100 kmph sixth gear no issues no drama no vibrations just silky smooth riding this is pure bliss if you are riding a twin cylinder definitely the wind blast is kind of hiding away the exhaust sound uh, but if you are riding this machine you will truly enjoy the personalized home theater experience that you will get while riding this twin let me show you what sort of grunt this machine offers and I, when I said grunt it is grunt you know so 6th gear we are at 100 and let's see how far it goes from here let's go There is a lot of wind blast to handle. We are at 120. We are at 140. And the throttle is almost completely open. The gas is coming in. And we are hitting, I think, almost 150 easily. The wind blast is actually making things very tough while riding hard. But 140 is where this machine sits easily. I have not given it the beans right from the first gear. But still, I just wanted to show you the pull from 100 kmph. Riding at 140 didn't seem too much of a fuss because of the twin cylinders that are there on the RE. Let's go for another speed run. Not sure if you can hear the rumble but this is good we are at 140 and we had 150 as well so pretty nice yeah 4.3 lakhs 4.4 lakhs on road what do you expect you're getting a wild free riding experience. For a change, for a change guys, the biggest change that I've seen is the stability of these rear view mirrors. Can you believe this? You are riding our oil in field at 100 kmph and the mirrors are giving you an absolutely perfect view. They are not vibrating at all. So yeah, I mean, a lot of good things. And there we see the beautiful sunset on the Yamuna Expressway going towards Agra what better feeling I was actually riding this motorcycle on the outer ring road between Ashram, DND, Mulchan you know all these traffic ridden areas and somehow I felt decently comfortable on this machine of course the shorter seat height really helps in maneuvering the motorcycle but the longer wheelbase is something that you really need to be aware of because this bike takes some sort of an effort to turn but if you are trying to find any reasons with respect to problems that this machine has in traffic they are none if you just get used to the longer wheelbase everything will be fine no heating whatsoever and for that i have actually made a separate video which talks about how this motorcycle feels in the city traffic so you can check that one out as well now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Royal Enfield for a first time has got Showa suspension. The upside down folks from Showa were expected to deliver, you know, top of the line performance. But, 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 I would like to say that the way these folks are tuned, I think they are a little on the stiffer side. No, no, what? But even on the Yamuna Expressway, which is supposedly a flat, concrete stretch of road the mild patchwork or the mild adulations on the road are being felt easily this is something that you would not expect in a 4.5 lakh rupee motorcycle this is clearly some work to be done 
the suspension needs to be tuned to a little softer setting and while you are riding in the city when the bumps are really there some of the bumps can really get to your back simply because of the fact you are in a cruiser riding position which most people think is the most comfortable motorcycling position right when you are sitting on the motorcycle like a sofa actually it is not true because the most comfortable position is the one that you get on an adventure touring motorcycle where your legs are directly beneath your body and they act as extra suspension to mellow down the effects of all the adulations on the road all the bumps and all the off roading that you do so this sort of position actually puts all the strain of the bumps directly on your spine and for such a position i feel that the suspension should be much better that is my feedback so far if we talk about the mileage i mean mileage is expected to be in the same range as you would get from the interceptor expect maybe like something between a 24 and a 26 km kilometers per liter and with the fuel tank you expect a range of about 350 km so those figures remain the same the power of the engine remains the same the nature of the engine remains the same it's all it's all about the chassis and how you sit on the motorcycle that is actually transformed this machine braking by the way on the super meteor is uh, very good as expected in a cruiser the rear brake is significantly stronger than most other types of bikes so overall the front brake is also good and the motorcycle stops uh, when you want it to where you want it to of course this is heavy so you need to preempt where you want to stop so guys we are still on the yamuna expressway and about 40 kilometers before mathura what a beautiful sunset on the right the orange sky and me with the super meteor so since it's almost like dark now i thought i'll also show you the throw of the headlight right the typical led setup is providing average to the best i mean that's what i can call it the type of illumination it is giving this is the low beam this is the high beam no difference on the illumination on the road just on the signage is above right the blue ones so that is how things are so almost 7:41 pm right now and pitch darkness uh, we are just about 7 kilometers from rindavan and uh, we are going towards the govardhan temple which is like a good uh, one hour drive from here riding in pitch darkness on these roads without the divider actually is giving me a good idea of the illumination that the meteor 650 that the super meteor 650 offers definitely needs a pair of ox lights it's kind of feeling totally non existent with the oncoming beams so finally we have reached the hotel and let's park this beast so this is our basic room setup the plan obviously for this ride was not to get a fancy room it was just to ride the super meteor 650 uh, staying over for the night in this room while these guys go for a visit to the temple a few moments later morning guys uh, we are right now in this place called govardhan the folks along with me had come here to uh, do some visits to the temple i relaxed all night that is how we parked the super meteor 650 just outside this hotel in govardhan and the bike is parked alongside the two splendors desh ki dhadkan if you remember that so guys now we are starting our ride back to greater noida back on the super meteor I think I covered most of the things during yesterday's ride but I think I'll talk about a couple of more things that are that we missed on I think primarily touring comfort right because of this touring seat because after spending around 200 kilometers your body also tells you how comfortable the ride was and I can tell you that especially the bad section of the road that we did yesterday 
was something that my back didn't respond to quite well so it's been a little bone jarring once you sit on a bike for a longish four four and a half hour ride and you get back into the saddle again you get that feeling of the same spots on the butt hitting the same spots on the seat and then you kind of know if that is causing an issue here on this motorcycle that's not an issue at all that's why i'm saying the butt comfort is quite good from a now don't ask me if you want to take this motorcycle to ladakh or not so this motorcycle is not meant to be taken to ladakh and unless you want to make the trip very uncomfortable i mean in india every motorcycle turns out to be a touring motorcycle primarily because the will of the rider is too strong and they try to take all sorts of motorcycles to the himalayas right so it's up to you you want to do it do it at your risk don't say it was not comfortable on the highways wherever the road is fine this will be a pleasure to ride but as soon as the road uh, becomes sketchy the potholes start coming the rubble the gravel starts coming up it's going to be a tough affair of course the ground clearance will also play a big factor if you are doing some sort of bad sections of the road on normal indian speed breakers even those metallic ones the steep ones and the uh, longer ones as well uh i haven't scraped the bottom at all so for indian roads the ground clearance is adequate till the time you stick to the mac right bhai hat ja yaar mere ko lag raha hai thode din mein na express way pe tum bhi allowed ho jaogi chalna par super bikes ko fir bhi roke rakhenge So now we are exiting the Eastern Peripheral Expressway and entering back in Greater Noida. And with that, I think it's time to call it a day for this video. I tried to cover almost all the aspects about the Super Meteor 650 during this ride uh, from a long ride standpoint. I hope you found this video useful. and if you have any follow up questions i'll be happy to answer them because i feel after riding almost 550 odd kilometers i can give you some sort of a feedback on this machine if you are interested in really investing almost 4.4 lakhs on the new super meteor 650 so that is it for this video guys i will see you in the next one bye bye